Hello, welcome everybody to another Facebook Friday, right? For Lead Chief Friday. Hopefully you guys are having a good kind of end of summer. I hate to even say it. I took Storm on a walk a little bit earlier. I was like, it kind of feels like fall out here, which I, I love fall, but I don't like what comes after fall. So anyway, I'm not really rushing fall either, I would say so. But yeah, hopefully you guys have had a good August, good summer. Thanks for joining me. Hello, Miss Philomena. So we have some fun stuff. We are jumping right in because we are gonna play with today one of my most favorite bundles, fall bundles in the July to December mini catalog. Thanks for the share, Philomena. <clears throat> Sorry, I got a tickle in my throat already. This is the Hello Harvest Bundle. Beautiful stamp set and set of dies. So we've got awesome sentiments in this stamp set, like wishing you the loveliest day, you are such a blessing, and hello. Can you guys see all the images? I know they're backwards, but they're, they're just awesome, awesome sentiments and images. And then you can see all of the coordinating dies, some of them. So for example, that pumpkin, you can cut out the pumpkin, you can cut out the big um, flower spray, um, the little baby flower kind of looks like a sunflower, I would say, um, the leaf also that my finger is covering. And then we've got some other kind of coordinating images um, with the other um, pumpkins and some little squiggly, squirrely, viney kind of things. This is, I can't even tell you how much fun I've had playing with this. In terms of prepping for Facebook Live, I think I, I've used it actually a bunch of times. I'm gonna share some other cards with you that I've made, made recently with this bundle. And also we had bingo last night and check out this fun little treat box that I made for everybody. I am loving, so this is the Texture Chic Designer Series paper that I used on our last Facebook Live. I'll show you those cards in just a little bit, um, but love the Texture Chic paper. I think it's on low inventory and actually that Hello Harvest stamp set and dies are too. So I was, I, of course I prepped for bingo, or I mean I, I prepped for Facebook Live and then I happened to look on the inventory status report and realized oh no what I'm featuring today is already on uh, low inventory so if you fall in love with it make sure you order it ASAP if you haven't already hello Miss Beth um, but anyway so I used really just the dies so you can see <clears throat> oh good storm is right here under my feet I'm gonna um, just segue here for a moment and let you know that I took well Cade we took to school last uh, mon Monday, 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 yeah, last Monday, and then this past Sunday, hello, Miss Bonnie, hello, hello, <laughs> rhubarb muffins in the oven, that's awesome, that smell, that's gonna smell so good, and thank you for the share, too, okay, so yeah, then um, just this past Sunday, we took Lily to school, uh, they're both away at college, the puppy, Storm, doesn't even know what to do with himself. Lily's totally missing Storm. Storm is absolutely missing Lily. So I'm afraid I'm gonna step on him. I'm gonna keep looking down. There's gonna be a moment when I like probably fall when I step on him. <laughs> Cause he's he's been literally like at my feet for the past week because he doesn't even know what to do with himself. Like where are the kids? Why did they leave me? It's just boring mom. I love him so much uh, and we've been having a good time together. We've been keeping each other company, but he's pretty darn bored with just me. So anyway, okay, so Storm, yeah, you're right here with me on Facebook Live today. Okay, so back to, yes, yeah, so I use the dies um, for this cute little treat box. You can see, so there's the pumpkin and the leaf. Um, and then I just use a couple of the scallop um, circle dies from the layering circles. If I zoom in close, you might be able to tell that I use the um, timber, the, like the wood grain timber embossing folder, which is one of those freebies you can get during celebration for just a few more days. Uh, <laughs> National Dog Day. All right, I like it, Miss Philomena. Well, happy National Dog Day to your little puppy, Mr. Luke, as well, Miss Philomena. Okay, so these boxes though, so fun. Again, that Texture Chic Designer Series paper is like the perfect paper. It's like the perfect kind of the beautiful fall accent or um, gold accents. And then these kind of really like deep, rich, beautiful fall colors. So I thought perfect for the little topper in there with that little just for you. And then if you guys haven't seen these treat boxes, so it's kind of a um, gold polka dotty scallop. Oh, storm, no barking, thank you. We're trying a bark collar that like vibrates on him whenever he barks. So I don't know. 
Um, it's kind of working, kind of not. So yeah, we're trying to like stop the barking. So anyway, so this lid just slips right off. I put, I didn't put anything in this one um, because this is like my extra one, but I put like little shreddy in there and then some cute little orange um, cookies and everybody got one of those at Bingo last night. So it's the perfect kind of size a box. I think it's three and a half inches um, square. Um, so perfect little box for like cookies or candy. You know, I'm a, I have a total sweet tooth. So I'm always putting like sweets in these things. So anyway, just kind of a fun, simple, little idea these um, boxes are in our annual catalog I think it's called um, like a craft polka dot scallop edge treat box or something but I'm sure if you literally just typed in boxes if you go to the Stampin' Up website these will pop up so super cute little gold anyway fun right okay so that was like a first little thing like I said I've made so many things with that Hello Harvest bundle and I'm going to share them all with you today okay uh, all right, so we're going to set this aside so I know I've talked about that. All right, we have, yes, we have six days, wait, six days left of celebration. So Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, July 30, 31st is the, excuse me, August. Wednesday, August 31st is the last day of celebration. So make sure that you have gotten... <clears throat> everything you want do i even have it handy out of the celebration brochure okay for free with fifty and hundred dollar orders and then i've got just my little um my little flyer that i uh printed out right here i will point out that the brushed metallic cardstock i think it is called yes has already sold out so you can't get that any longer but all of the other items you can still get as far as i know as of yesterday morning i guess when i prepped for this so something could have happened in the last 24 hours uh, but that timber embossing folder that i used on that orange scallop circle on that treat box is on there and so many other good things too the gingham embossing folder seashells embossing folder the dots and spots die the flowers of home dies silver foil paper daffodil dies Aspen treat boxes and some craft gift boxes. So those are not what I use, but something similar. They've got like an opening right there too. So it's a little more skinny flat kind of thing. But like I said, six days left of celebration, right? So make sure, you know, if you're even thinking about like, well, stocking up on basics, cardstock, adhesive, envelopes, um, any, any of those basic kind of things that you always need, right? You might as well put your order in in August and get free celebration stuff. Or maybe you're like kind of gearing up for your holiday project, card making, gift giving, that sort of thing. It's a great time to put your order in and get your free celebration items too. So again, six days left of celebration. So take advantage of that while you still can, okay? And then don't forget, we have that awesome starter kit deal. So again, six days left to get, and I don't even have the planner anymore. I think I warned you guys. Uh, Lily took off with that. She took it to college. She's keeping herself organized. Um, they basically had a whole week of like hanging out in the dorm and then they were going to do some orientation things. I haven't heard anything about those. What I have heard about is that she's been staying up till like one o'clock in the morning playing cards with a big group of people that she's met. So that makes me feel good that she's, you know, found some friends already and meeting people and kind of socializing, getting to know everybody. Um, so yeah, so it's good. It's good. Uh, we're actually, I'm going to go see her this weekend though, because there's a festival in Grand Rapids that one of my nieces is dancing in who also goes to Grand Valley. So we're all going to kind of meet up and go um, watch this festival that she's dancing in. So, you know, I, I went a whole six days without seeing her and that's about the max. <laughs> It'll, with time, I'll be able to go longer, I think. And Kate will be there too. I'm a little more used to him being away and not used to Lily being away at all. So, uh, but yeah, so she took the planner, but I have the those cute the notebooks like the three little notebooks that come with the starter kit I have the making plans stamp set that you can get and then the planner um, as well plus even better $125 in free product you only pay $99 plus sales tax you have six days left to get that awesome starter kit and then you become a part of our team our expired stampers team we have an awesome group of ladies all over the country so even if you're long distance don't let that stop you uh, we have a separate Facebook group we do team meetings that I do live and on the Facebook group we do make and takes that you can order and I mail them out to you we swap you can participate in the swap make a swap send it to me I'll spread them out share them out with everybody and mail them back to 
you. Um, let's see what else. Lots of like creative challenges and business challenges and like fun incentives and just lots of sharing. And just like I said, a great group of ladies to be a part of. So love to have you join our Inkspired Stampers group. If you have any questions, please let me know. Also, don't forget that I announced um, if you buy the starter kit through me, your name goes in the drawing to win one of my perfect pomegranate stamp sets. And I've been accumulating these over the past, um, I guess, July and August, right? Um, so I have a number of these to give away as well. And so everyone that buys the starter kit, their name is in the drawing. And you have a really good chance of winning one of these perfect pomegranate stamp sets too. So... Or if you aren't buying the starter kit, know that you can get the stamp set for free with a $300 order. So, you know, put your big whopping order in if you're thinking about that or gather orders together, get them to $300 and then you can get the perfect pomegranate stamp set too, which I know I used this a couple weeks ago on Facebook Live too. So, okay. Um, let me just keep chit-chatting away here. What else do we have? Oh, <laughs> I'm like, I'm, I hate to like even say this because everyone was laughing at me last night at Bingo, but once again, I have one more holiday catalog designer series paper share left. So on our last Facebook Live, I had one share left and then I had four people order a paper share. So I'm like, okay, I got to order another one. So now I'm back to having one, one more paper share left. So let me just show you guys again. Here is all of the paper i've got it a little bit fanned out but yes you get all of this paper can you see like this is a huge stack of paper it is 52 dollars. so if you're interested i have one more left you also get don't forget you get um a couple of the celebration the pool party and soft seafoam note cards and envelopes i give you one of each of those just as a little sample there um these are already sold out so you can't get them through celebration any longer but i have a little package of them that i'm putting with these um designer series paper shares so if you're interested i have one left i will put oh okay miss teresa it's yours okay so unless i get four more people I, i'm done talking about paper shares so all right i will I will get that sent right out to you, Miss Teresa. So it's $52 and then $10 for the priority mail shipping. So, okay, awesome. It's yours, Teresa. I've got your name on this pack right here. Oh, one thing I will tell you, there was one, you know what I might, if it's okay, I'm kind of digressing here, but there was one pack of paper that I couldn't order. Um, the, which one was it? Ugh, the Boughs of Holly designer series paper and I, it's available to order now as far as I know because it wasn't on the you know back order can't order report um, so I'm going to put an order in this weekend so if it's okay Teresa I'm going to wait until I get that paper and then I'll mail everything out to you rather than doing two separate shipments because um, yeah I've got everything but the bows of Holly designer series paper but I will be able to get that shortly and then sent out to you okay all right awesome thank you okay good done talking about the paper share people like i said people were laughing at me that like yeah i've still got one left i told four more and then i got i still had one left so okay um let's do our drawing okay thank you teresa <laughs> okay so we're gonna do our drawing now for these are the fi uh, fun flower resin shapes i have to open them up because in both of these packages you can't see one of the other like fun bright pretty colors that are in them so this one has the calypso coral on the top so these are calypso coral crushed curry fresh freesia uh starry sky and um what is that green one? Why am I drawing a blank? The, whatever the green, the new green. Why can't I? Parakeet party. Yes, there we go. I'm sure that's it. So awesome little fun flower, small and large flowers in each of those colors. Your name is in this drawing right here. If you shared the Facebook Live video, our last Facebook Live video. If you signed up for my email list, if you haven't done that already. And um, if you shared the class to go kit post, which I am, will be working on another class to go. And so I'll be sh uh, sharing that post. And if you share it as well, then your name goes in here. So, okay. One lucky winner will receive the fun flower resin shapes. And okay, they're all stuck together. I gotta separate them out. Okay, all right, there. Now I have, I guess I have one in my hand. Miss Marianne McGinnis. All right, congratulations, Marianne. Thank you for sharing the video and I will get your the little fun flower resin shapes sent out to you. So thank you, thank you. Okay, let me dump these out. <clears throat> okay, here we go. Boom, boom, boom. We're all ready for the next drawing. Okay, so 
On our next Facebook Live, I'm gonna open these up too, because again, they kind of get a little covered up. Everyone got um, a half a pack of these as part of their little um, gift at Bingo last night. And these are the Fine Sparkle Adhesive Backed Gems. So they're in the package like that, but then there's that pretty little, and we did talk about the colors last night too. I wonder if I'm gonna be able to remember. Um, I think it was Poppy Parade, um, Pale Papaya. Actually, these almost look, isn't that interesting? I think these were one of the new in colors. And then I'm gonna say um, Pool Party. The blue may be, no, I'm trying to, no, they're a Pacific Point, yep. Yeah, so they're kind of a muted tone, right, of each of those colors. They're not like super solid bright, um, but they are super pretty, a little sparkly. Um, they've got like, yeah, some little kind of white sparkle behind them. So they're, yeah, kind of frosted tones almost. So these are part of the gnome suite that is in the holiday catalog. And so this is what we're gonna give away on our next Facebook Live. I'm gonna slip these right back in here so they are protected nicely for the winner who will share the video, share my class to go, or sign up for the email list. We'll draw for these on our next Facebook Live, okay? All right, so what is next? Oh, I know. So thank you, Debbie, for sharing and welcome. Um, I want to give a warm welcome to our newest inspired stamper, Miss Robin Wellens, who joined us pretty regularly on Facebook Live. I don't think I've seen her name pop up here. Hello, Monica. Hello, hello. Thanks for joining. So anyway, yes, I want to say and give a warm welcome to Miss Robin Wellens, who bought the starter kit recently. She got to pick her $125 in products. She got that awesome making plans planner and all the other things that come with it. And now she's an expired stamper. So we're excited to have you be a part of our group, Miss Robin. Hello, Teresa. Thanks for joining us. Um, and then as well, we had some other fun, some two of our expired stampers reached what's called qualified team member, which is after you buy the starter kit, <clears throat> excuse me, when you sell $900, your first $900, you become what, what is called a qualified team member, which also means you're halfway to your bronze elite promotion, which when you get there, that's at $1,800 in sales and you get a 25% discount off of all of your orders rather than the standard 20% discount that you initially get when you buy the starter kit. So we have two people. I want to congratulate Lisa Berge and Stacy Decker. They both, re both reached qualified team member in the last couple of weeks and they actually receive a $25 shopping spree from me as a congratulations for reaching that milestone. And then, like I said, they're halfway to their Bronze Elite promotion at $1,800 in sales, which is that biggie because you get that 25% discount. So congratulations, Lisa and Stacy, for reaching qualified team member status. And anyone that has bought the starter kit, you are working your way toward that, right? Your first $900 and your $1,800 to Bronze Elite and so on. When you get to $3,600 in sales, and that's a rolling number, so you have to do it within 12 months. So when you once you are in 13 months, that 13 month, 13th month drops off, and then it just keeps going 12 months from there and there. But yes, yeah, so silver status is $3,600 in sales, and you have one team member yourself. That just means you share the starter kit with a friend, family, coworker, customer, or whoever um, and they got that awesome starter kit deal as well so it's just lots and lots of fun to share with as many people as you can right so again congratulations Lisa and Stacy um, oh and then actually we had our team meeting uh, it was last week and I haven't had a chance to show you guys our um, make and takes and some of the other swaps and things that we received so I want to share with you these are where is my Oh, celebration brochure. The Wonderful World. I'm, all of a sudden, I'm like, what's the name of this stuff? Yes, The Wonderful World. So this is um, this, uh, well, stamp set and then designer series paper. You can get both of those free with a $100 order. And that's what we featured on our make and takes that we did just last week. So I'm going to show you guys these. This was our first one that says good luck. And then we use some of the... Um, can't remember what that ribbon is called, but it's just kind of a really nice, fine, simple ribbon. But again, there is the designer series paper and then there's the flower from the Wonderful World stamp set as well. Um, I think we used, I um, can't remember the name. It, it was so, it was like last week. I'm like drawing a blank on even the name of the stamp set. One of the, it's the stamp set that has all the dies that will cut out. 
<laughs> Do you guys remember that? Charming sentiments, maybe? I think that's what it is. So here's another one. This is actually one of the scallop rectangle dies. So you just put that on there and then the designer series paper runs across it and then it just kind of peeks out on the top and the bottom. At first I thought it was two different pieces, but it's just one rectangle. Uh, popped behind there. Yes, and so that was the next make and take. These are also featuring the craft note cards and envelopes. So the note card and then here's the little baby envelope too. So a craft envelope also. So you can see they're a little bit smaller than our standard. I think it's three and a half by five, three and a half or three and a quarter. I think three and a half. So there's another one. We actually die cut um, the designer series paper with this one and then we dyed the ribbon. So you just use one of your um, the blending brushes and I dipped it in some mossy meadow ink and then you just kind of rub it on the ribbon and then it changes the color. So we had that vanilla ribbon turned into kind of a mossy meadow green ribbon. And then here is another one, this Faith Over Fear with more of the designer series paper, that wonderful world. Hello, Miss Nancy. Thanks for hanging out with us today. And then lastly, we have the uh, Beyond Grateful sentiment from that charming, charming sentiment stamp set. Again, the stamps from the wonderful world you guys can see right there that wonderful world stamp set right and then more of the wonderful world designer series paper with some more of that ribbon also just kind of tied around behind it there too so we had those five cute little uh craft note cards and envelopes that we made as our make and takes so that's something to think about too if you're interested in getting the starter kit each month I prepare these make and takes and I get them prepped and mailed out to you if you're long distance so that you can have them there the night of the meeting because I kind of go through and give you any tips um, on how to make the cards and then at the end of the night we actually break for the people that are local at the meeting to go make the make and takes or you can sit in your own craft room at home if you're long distance and make them when you're done or the next day or whenever you want to make them so but yeah I post pictures of them and then kind of share them on our um, team meeting Facebook live as well so and then we also do swapping too so let me share with you guys um the swaps and this one uh, i'm going to save that one for last because maybe i'll kind of figure out who made that because most of the other ones have names on them so this is from charlene mogg she made this card and this one also features that wonderful world um, designer series paper now this one i'm trying to remember so she said and i've heard of this i can't remember what it's called though where you cut like one sheet, this is probably five and a quarter by four inches, this designer series paper. And then you cut it here and here and here. And then, so you do that with all four of these pieces. And then you take one of each of them and then make a card. So the next one would have, this one would be over here and so on. So you kind of shift them almost so that you get all four designer series papers in the four different sizes. So it makes four different cards just with one um, little four by five and a quarter piece of card stuff or designer series paper. So again, Charlene made that one for us. And then Miss Beth Martin made this one. This one also featured, this is the other um, stylish sketches, I think, um, stamp set from Celebration. And then that little fun fold there too with some of that um, Celebration designer series paper. This one, Sharon Greening made. Look at, this is a cute one. And I'm sure this has a fun, oh, it's got the, um, let me see if I can open this up. This has, <clears throat> I'm trying to figure out how to open it. There we go. It's got a belly band on it. Let's see. I hadn't pulled this one off yet. Oh yeah, so it's gonna have a fun fold. Okay, so there's the belly band. Actually, we'll, we'll go down this way, I think, because I'm not gonna run across. And then, woohoo, ooh, look at this, right? Ooh, that's fun with the happy birthday on the inside. That's very cool. I haven't even opened that yet. And then this one is, I think, um, I think Jenny made this card. Jenny Bachman made this card with the Your Friendship Warms My Heart right and then with the little raccoon a cute a cute raccoon right and then miss julie wilmot made this one this features those aspen dies that you can get free with a 100 dollars order right now during celebration so i did i figured it out so this what card was sunday so sunday ostrander made this one with more of that rings of love designer series paper and then um, some cute, that's like the little sprig punch, I think, or no, actually those are the dies that coordinate with the designer series paper. And that rings, the tree rings embossing folder, right? 
and she just put a little white piece on the inside there. So again, if you're interested, you could get all of these swaps too if you buy the starter kit through me. Make swaps, you send them in to me, I swap them around with everybody and mail them back out to you. So another great perk of being an Inkspired Stamper is all of these great card ideas every single month too. In addition, I love to uh, reward my top sellers. So I, um, if you have over $600 in sales, you get what I call uh, you into the $600 club. And then I give everyone a little like um, embellishment or bolt a ribbon or something as a congratulations for having more than six, the Hello Harvest stamp set. So all of my top five sellers for July received this card as a congratulations. And then one more thing we are doing on our team meetings now is something, it's called the mystery project. So what I do is I give kind of a list of um, cardstock sizes, designer series paper, um, maybe some like embellishments just to kind of give you a rough idea, but it's still a mystery, the card that I'm going to make. And then I actually make it on our Facebook Live that night. You bring all your parts and pieces and then you can make your mystery project along with me at the meeting, or you can always do it later at home. Um, and it's just kind of fun to see what everyone else comes up with. You know, I have this vision in my mind of what I'm doing, right? And you're kind of deciphering what is the, the mystery project? What would I like to do? Um, so this was the project that I made and shared with everybody again. So another fun card featuring that Hello Harvest stamp set and the Rustic Harvest dies. You can see I've been doing a lot of just die cutting the pumpkin right out of designer series paper because it's so simple and fun and quick and easy to do and then i love those little viney squiggly things and then this was how the card opened up and it actually has a pocket so you could put i was joking you could put like a hundred dollar bill in there or a gift card or i don't know a little piece of candy or something but anyway it's just got that little pocket right there too um so yeah that was a fun little something that we do on our team meetings now as well so yeah so much good stuff to share with you guys okay i keep kind of looking around like making sure have i showed you guys everything <laughs> okay quick reminder about yeah that's where i'm at one day retreat we have coming up yay i'm so excited we're back to being able to do these we're doing it out at the peace lutheran church right here in alma on warwick drive kind of right across from the hospital october 22nd 9 a.m to 9 p.m it's 64 dollars for the entire day i feed you all day long i make a bunch of cute uh pillow gifts or table treats this little like um gifty kind of things kind of like that little gift box that i gave everybody at bingo um so make little treats for you. We have make and takes. You get a goodie bag valued to over $30 that I show you how to use some of the things in your goodie bag to make your make and takes. And we just have lots and lots of fun. And did I mention lots of food and lots of crafting? And you just basically hang out and have a great time all day long. So if you're interested, let me know. Uh, October 22nd is our next one day retreat, okay? Um, I think we're ready to uh, no, actually we got to do our other drawing, don't we? Yeah. Okay. So, all right. Names are in the drawing right now to win. We've got the, this is the Lights Aglow designer series paper that I'm pretty sure is on back order. So you can't even get this right now, ladies, but right here through me, I'm going to give a pack of this away right this minute. So this is the Lights Aglow designer series paper. We've got one side the other side it's just beautiful six by six paper you can see some gold accents on some of the pieces and then just really pretty kind of traditional reds and greens on the designer series paper okay so how did you get your name in the drawing if you put an online order in through me using the host code that i gave you your name is in the drawing you automatically receive both of the cards that I made on our last Facebook Live. Remember, these were fe featuring that Texture Chic, the beautiful Texture Chic Designer Series paper, right? You get both of these cards as a thank you for ordering through me. You also get to pick from either the free embellishment, which are the festive pearls. There are some red ones. I, I love, I don't actually, but the pretty, the pretty bright red ones are underneath there. I think maybe cherry cobbler, soft succulent, silver, and gold are our little festive pearls. So you get to, you can pick that free embellishment with your $50 order or the August demo design dream team PDF tutorial, 16 projects in here. This is actually my project for the month. I also made a super, almost exactly the same version of this little um, sticky note holder, right? That says, woohoo, 
What does it say? Woohoo to another year. Because this one, I we featured um, like back to school. Um, I think that was it, right? Wasn't that what we say? Like, yeah, kind of back to school theme. So this was the idea of like, oh, teacher gifts. That was the other thing. Like you could give it to a teacher that says woohoo to another year because we're starting another school year, right? So I think on the... Um, um, on the uh, club member treats, I said, woohoo, and then I'm um, so grateful for you. Is, I'm pretty sure what the sentiment was. So super similar, uh, but I love kind of that little um, fold on there, if you guys can kind of see. So it kind of does that and then flips up there. So directions are in this demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial on how to make that little uh, sticky note holder, right? So again, free with a $50 order. You can pick either one, either the embellishment or the PDF tutorial. Okay. All right. So I think we're ready. Names are in the basket. Hi, Vina. How are you? Okay. I've got a couple stuck together, so I'm going to try to get them pulled apart. Okay. We're kind of shaking them around. So we have one lucky winner for the Lights Aglow Designer Series paper. And do I have one in my hand? I do. I'm always afraid I'm gonna have two and then I'm gonna freak out, like how do I pick, right? Miss Kathy Hilliard. All right, congratulations, Kathy. You are the winner of the Lights Aglow Designer Series paper. So I will get that sent out to you, Miss Kathy. And thank you for your online order. Um, so yeah, I was trying to decide, do I mention this? But I think I'm gonna just say it because I um, everyone was very gracious last night. Um, hello, Ashley, how are you? So at Bingo, I was kind of um, like, like I said, uh, do I say anything? But okay, so here's the deal. Um, I um, am working on, so earning another incentive trip. I've earned, I think like the last nine, maybe nine or 10 incentive trips. Last year was a little kind of, uh, at the last moment, I was able to earn the the um, incentive trip. And this year, I think it's going to be even more of like at the very last second, I may be able to earn the incentive trip. So if you are thinking about putting an order in, I would truly, truly appreciate your orders um, anytime between now and the end of September, because we have until September 30th to actually earn the incentive trip. So I'm trying to kind of boost up my sales and find some additional sales. And I thought, okay, um, I wasn't really, like I have a hard time like asking for favors like that. Um, but everyone was, like I said, super gracious at bingo last night that I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna throw it out there. And so if you're thinking about putting an order in, I would love for you to do that through me um, so that I can, um, you can help kind of get me to what I need in terms of sales to be able to to earn that incentive trip. So with that being said, hello, Miss Donna. I am giving away on our next Facebook Live. <laughs> yes, great to see you too, Vina. We have the Snowman Magic Stamp Set. This is such a cute, this is one of those stamp sets that every time I flip through the catalog, it just totally catches my eye. And I think because it's kind of that fun little builder of the snowman, right? And then they've got some cute sentiments like, thinking of you this season, filled with warm and wondrous memories, sending wishes for a cool Christmas. That one's kind of cute, huh? How about thanks so much and I love you, I love you so much. And then also this one, it's the most magical time of the year. And I think I just love kind of the little squiggle and the, um, there is, yeah, there's a little snowflake right there. And then just some fun imagery that you can build to create your snowman or kind of a snowman like, um, a scene, I guess I would say. So this is what we're going to give away on our next, next Facebook Live if you order through me, which again, I like I said, I would truly appreciate. Um, okay, let me make sure, but I think we're ready to flip the camera down. I kind of got sidetracked on a couple things, but yeah, I think we're good. Okay, I have some um, uh, scrapbook pages to share with you guys. So I'm going to do that, and then we will do our stamping. Okay, so turn your heads away. We're flying through the air and I'm gonna flip the camera down. Okay. Eek, we are good. Okay, there. All right, so you guys can see. Okay, so I may have shown these pages, but I couldn't quite remember. So I'm like, okay, we're just gonna show them again 
just so I make sure you guys saw them. Because I plus I think they're so stinking cute. This is part of that whole butterfly suite, butterfly kisses designer series paper, and then the butterfly stamp set. So this was one of the pages, and I think we made this one last month, and then we made the second coordinating, so you guys can see, right? Two page spread. We made this page this month. So we always make three pages. We make a single page that either coordinates with the one we did last month or is gonna coordinate with the one from next month, right? And then we also make a full two-page spread. So this one features that beautiful, um, why am I drawing a blank on this designer series paper too? I think it's been one of those kind of long weeks, to be honest. <laughs> um, emotional with my kids not being around and um, just a lot of events and things going on. So whatever this paper is called, it's absolutely beautiful. It's in the, um, I got to look it up. I gotta look it up because I just did, did my class to go on it too. That's why it seems so ridiculous that I can't think of the name of it. But here, we're gonna look it up. It is, oh yeah, Splendid Day. I was thinking that was it, but I wasn't totally sure. So the Splendid Day designer series paper that is in the um, holiday catalog. So I don't know if you can see, kind of, ooh, there you go. Now you can see kind of that gold foil. The opposite side is not gold foil, but it's still these soft, pale, beautiful colors. And then that fun um, image there. And then here's the second coordinating. Actually, I think it kind of goes like that, right? So there's one page and there's the other page. So here's the other one with this Let's celebrate sentiment. And then the fun um, little dies there too. And then again, that foil, beautiful foil designer series paper. Okay, good. Okay, everything's shared. Now I gotta find my, um, I didn't have my grid paper pulled out, but I think it's, yep, it's good. It's right here. Okay, we are ready to do our stamping. I bet you guys are ready too, huh? Okay. got my die cutting machine all of a sudden I'm looking at my chair that's pushed in I'm like yeah usually that's pulled out and the the die cutting machine is on there so mm, I'm trying to decide because I'm really afraid that I forgot something else I'm like should I run and get it now um well we'll see I, I feel like I might need to grab something else so um yeah I'll grab it in a sec okay so this card very similar layout to I am going to admit I think I kind of have said this a couple of times um I was struggling a little bit we, uh, this week, especially the day that I um, needed to prep for this class. I was just, the creative juices were not flowing. I was kind of sad because I was missing my kids. And so I thought, okay, I'm going to give myself a break and I'm just going to kind of use some ideas. And I do this all the time anyway, but this felt especially so this week. Um, so in terms of layout, I basically went with this layout that I already used on my mystery project and I did something very similar right here. I didn't do the pocket on the inside, but I did show you guys, right? That little pocket, you could, you could do the little pocket and just kind of add that, just make this piece a little bit longer, score it and flip it up, right? Um, but I love the layout too. And then I will also tell you that I received this beautiful swap card from the beautiful Laura Milligan. I She is one of the nicest people I've met. She is a demonstrator down in Ohio, and I just love her. She's just the sweetest thing. I met her years and years ago on one of our incentive trips, and she always does such beautiful work. And so I loved her card, so I basically took this element from her card and put it right over here on my card. We actually, because I love this card so much, we made it last night at Bingo, too. Um, and this, I have to show you guys, because I thought this was really cool. Um, a little bit of a you know, a little bit of a fun fold, I'll say. So she cut off this bottom little piece. So this flips up and then that stays on there. I just thought that was such a cute way to do that. I didn't actually do that on here, but like I said, we did make this card at Bingo last night and everybody loved it. So plus that, there's just something about that kind of tone on tone, the white and vanilla that I thought was so pretty. And you guys, you know what happened? As soon as I flipped the camera down, the sun peeked out. So now we're getting a little bit of a glare, but I think we're gonna be okay. I hope. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Um, we've got our stamp set. We've got our dies. Yeah, so I am gonna have to run and grab my die cutting machine. Let's do our stamping first. I think we can do that, right? Yeah, okay. So we're gonna do in Blackberry Bliss ink. This is our Wishing you the loveliest day. Okay, so we're gonna just stamp that right on there. Okay, and then I need 
my little flower. Oh, that's what I didn't do. See, I knew because we used a bunch of this stuff at class last night and I put it away and I actually need a clear block for that one and that one because we're going to stamp this right here and this right here and then we've got that and then I need one more clear block. Okay, good. I'm going to go get a clear block for that one also. You are such a blessing. Now I'm looking on my next card. Do I need... I already have that. And I'm going to need the hello on the next one. Okay, I will be right back, ladies. I'm going to go grab clear blocks and my die cutting machine. Okay, so um, grab a cup of coffee and I'll be right back. Right, Storm? So that's what I get for uh, <laughs> using the same stuff over and over again. But I just have had so much fun that I couldn't not, I don't know, there's just something about this. I think because, uh, you know, fall, I'm still kind of, I was saying, you know, I'm excited. I love fall, but I don't really, I'm not excited for winter and what comes after fall. So I don't want to rush the end of summer. There we go. You are such a blessing, right? Okay, so we've got that one. We've got that one. We can stamp on here also with our Sahara Sand ink. Okay. <laughs> okay, so this little kind of spray of flowers. What I figured out is I kind of need it down low because I have to have enough room for this up at the top. So if I stamp this guy like right down toward the bottom. Isn't that so pretty? And then we're gonna stamp another spray kind of right there, okay? And somehow I never have it quite lined up and it's okay because once you put your, um, your pumpkin over top, it just kind of sprinkles out behind it and I think it is just a beautiful little deal. And then we're gonna stamp one of these right there and die cut that too, okay. So I think we have our stamping done. Did I do, oops, that's on this one. I didn't use that stamp, but we're using that on the next project. Okay, so I think we are good. Let's go ahead and do our die cutting. So we're gonna need these, oops, and then this also. Okay, I'll show you what we're gonna do here. Okay, you guys can see, oh, oops. Oh, there, we'll move these out of the way. There, then you can see what's going on, right? Okay, I'll just trim this piece off too so we don't have it hanging in our way. Okay, so we've got that one. And let's see, we'll do that one there and this one here, I think. A little something on there. Okay, dies. Where are the dies? Right here, okay. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna use a bunch of these dies. Okay, so these, and can you see there's a little bit of um, kind of embossing that's gonna happen on our pumpkins too. I'm just gonna throw these on here and then I'll get them situated in a moment. So I did um, the die cutting for everybody before bingo, so that was very helpful. They didn't have to do quite as much die cutting. And we were joking because I had to do it all, all by myself. My lovely assistant, Lily, is away. And so I was just, had to do it all. <laughs> like, I'm gonna, I will realize, I mean, I always knew that she was such a good helper, um, but I'm really gonna be missing and appreciating her. There we go, there's that one, um, with her not around <laughs> to help me anymore. I'm like, oh yeah, okay, so those all fit. That is good. Okay, I think we have everything that we need. So lots of dies, but uh, this is great though because it really shows you all of the things that happen with these dies, like on this card, okay? All right, oh, Miss Becky, hello. Thanks for joining us at any time, right? Okay, so those got the embossing, right? I wanna lift those up so you can see. I bet if I ran it back through, they'd emboss even more, but they just kind of, you know, right? Like they're a little bit weathered from being outside, right? And then we've got 
A little flower. That one got a little wonky, but we're going to just go with it for now, right? The wishing you the loveliest day. Love that little banner, right? So you could use this die for lots of things and put whatever sentiment. You could even um, just ink up the outside. Um, and then probably the easiest thing to do is to use one of your blender pens and take off the ink if you get any ink on that spot right there. And then you could just stamp the outline and then another sentiment inside. That would be fun, right? Okay, and then we have all these little bits here. And I have, okay, good. I'm fortunate enough that those things are all just gonna, I'm gonna lift up and they're gonna pop right out. That's kind of what happened, right? Okay, so we've got the little stem and then some vines and things. Super duper cute little thingies. Okay, let's kind of get those things. Just cleaning that off a little bit. All right, I think we have everything we need for this project. Okay, let's get those over here. All right, lots of parts and pieces. Okay, so let me get my glasses too, just so I'm all on board here. Okay. How about some adhesive? And I know I'm gonna need this little guy for all those little pieces that I threw way over here. <laughs> I'm like, where did they go already? Can you guys see? Let me get that into view a little bit more. Okay, so I'm gonna flip these all over. You have to have a silicone mat. It's like the thing that you must have. If you don't have one of these, you need to get one. Silicone mat, silicone craft sheet, I think is what it's called. If you probably typed in the word silicone um, on the Stampin' Up! website search button, this thing will come up. This helps so that you don't get adhesive all over your grid paper or your work surface. It just goes right on here and it doesn't stick to anything because it doesn't stick to the silicone. It's like magic. Okay, I forgot I should give you um, sizes of things. So we're going to start with, this is our card base, basically. Okay, can we see, are we, there's something with that stuff there. I want to make sure we're in view. Okay, there we go. So our card base is essentially a piece of Blackberry Bliss cardstock, four and a quarter by five and a half. Next, we have a layer of the designer series paper, what is that called? Where is my catalog? Craft or math, ladies, is a serious issue on this table today. Um, it is called, let's see. Yeah, Rustic Harvest on page 49. We're just gonna flip to that. So it's all this sweet, right? So the beautiful, you can see lots of um, examples of projects using the Rustic Harvest Suite, the designer series paper, which is right there, and then that stamp set and dies that we are using on the projects today. Okay, so Rustic Harvest, beautiful. Four by five and a quarter is that piece, so that's gonna just layer right on there. Then we have a piece of Mossy Meadow cardstock that measures three and five eighths by nine and three quarters. I don't know the math on, <laughs> normally I score, this was like a big moment for me on our mystery project. So this is nine and three quarters. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna like fold it over. I see other um, demonstrators that can do this so lickety split and it's just not in me. I can't, like it gets all like creased up and like wrinkle. I don't know. I have no idea how they make it look so perfect, but thank goodness this all basically is gonna get covered up. Um, and look at that side's not too bad, right? So that could be the side that goes on the inside, right? Because that's going to get all covered up. Eh, I don't know. Maybe we'll do that side, right? <laughs> anyway, whatever half of nine and three quarters in is, you score it at that or you just fold it in half and hope for the best. Okay, then we have two pieces of basic white cardstock. One goes on the outside, one goes on the inside. And these measure three and three eighths by four and five eighths. Okay, so... I think we are good to put things together now. Okay, so we're gonna add this layer of the Rustic Harvest Designer Series paper. Run it and tip it back. Apparently forgot to do that because it wasn't ready to go. There we go. Okay, next we're gonna use our Mossy Meadow piece that we used our bone folder <laughs> to score in half, right? And Oops, I got some adhesive. I'm gonna just rub that right there because I'm gonna need it on the inside. We're gonna just line this up on there, okay? Next, we're gonna put this piece on the outside. Okay, that one can go right there. And then on the inside, we have this one. Okay. 
Okay. This you are such a blessing goes right here and it covers up whatever trouble I had. <laughs> like I said, there's there's got to be some video I could watch to help me out with that. I just haven't done it yet. <laughs> oh, darn it. Dimensionals. Okay. One sec. Got to grab the dimensional. I really thought I was super prepared, but I did come home. I had to work all day yesterday and had, had bingo till nine. And so when I got home, I grabbed what I thought I needed, but apparently I didn't grab everything. Um, and then I think I went to bed. <laughs> I was just tired. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna put our pumpkin on right in there. So you can see again, it's like it, it just works somehow, right? We're gonna add the little layer right here in the middle of the pumpkin. Love that, there's just something so pretty. Okay, and then we'll just put our sentiment on right now while I'm thinking about that, okay? So we've got wishing you the loveliest day. Oops, scoot that over a touch, there we go, okay? Now, like I was saying, actually we put a little mini dimensional on that flower, so we're gonna put that right there. Okay, so here's my silicone craft sheet. We are just gonna add some adhesive to all of these little squiggles and we're gonna pop them on. Okay, so here's the little, okay, we've got that. Trying to like tuck that underneath there a little bit. I guess I put that up. There we go, that'll work, okay. Then we are gonna put that little baby like right about there. And then actually I have one extra squiggle, don't I? Maybe I'll, if I put it on the inside, maybe I'll do that, okay? Got that one right there. And then why not? Let's just put this little baby. Ooh, that's so pretty, huh? We'll just put that, oh, love that, right? So cute. Okay, and then lastly, we are gonna use some of our linen thread. Hello, Miss Kathy. Thanks for joining us today. And we're gonna make a little bow little linen thread bow. We're gonna just add this right to our project. Okay, trim that off. We are just gonna add a little bit of adhesive right on that vine kind of and on there. And there we go. So project number one, wishing you the loveliest day. Can you guys see all right? Is that sun making a really bad glare? I can move the table if someone comments on here and says you can't see very well. Let me know, okay? Otherwise, I'm just gonna keep on trucking along here and show you guys the next card. We're gonna clean these up real quick. Another super useful uh, tool here, not very glamorous or exciting, but this chamois, the Simply Chamois, love this thing. This is another one of those. If you don't have this, go get your silicone craft sheet, get your chamois. These are basics too. If you don't have these, order these things, get to a $50 order and get your free celebration item for the next six days. Okay, so there's project number one. I think we got things cleaned up. We are going to kind of scoot these off of here and I will so, oh, you know what I forgot? I knew. Okay, I'm looking at I'm like, why do I have these things out? Let's talk about the little rustic metallic adhesive back to dots. So they're kind of, so they are rustic-y, right? Like they're, they're not really weathered, but they kind of, they've got that kind of old copper look, I guess I would say. So we are going to add, I just put one of each of these, oops, on, okay, little guy. There we go. It is almost easier if they flip over. We're going to put, oops. There must be some adhesive I got stuck, my finger stuck on. And then we're gonna do one more right there. There, now we are done with project number one, okay? Love the little dots, right? Okay, next we have, all right, oh my gosh, we're gonna have some fun. We are gonna color this time. So this card was inspired by my friend Melissa who came and made, Oh, I guess she made something similar to 
Now I'm trying to remember. Well, I can't even quite remember. But anyway, um, she she colored. She colored this um, pumpkin, and I thought, oh, I really want to try that too. So with our stamp and blends, and it's interesting how it kind of lightened up. Like I could go back and color it again a little bit, but very very pretty, right? Um, you know what I forgot to show you guys too. I actually have the designer series paper shares pulled apart so that I could show you. Yeah, let me do this real quick. So back on this, the Rustic Harvest designer series paper, that's the uh, pattern that we used on that first card. Here are all of, you got to see that one with the dahlias. Oh, it's just beautiful, right? So there's one side of that Rustic Harvest designer series paper. And then how about this? How cool is that, right? It's all black and white on the other side. So if there's one that doesn't like totally float your boat, I love this, this kind of, is that plaid? I think it's plaid, right? <laughs> I love that pattern. And the leaves are really pretty too, aren't they? This They're all gorgeous, right? So black and white on one side and then beautiful fall tones on the other side for that first card. So, all right, while I'm thinking about this, we're going to show you the other one. So this is part of the Gingham Cottage right there, designer series paper. This, you actually get twice as many. So if you normally get six patterns... Well, that's actually 12, right? Because you have front and back. But this one, you get 12 sheets front and back. Wow. Can you guys see all of these? Will that even fit on there? To bring that in a little bit, huh? There. You guys can kind of see Gingham Cottage right here. Whoo! Look at all of that, right? Am I going to be able to flip? And then here's the other side. So more of just lots of fun, bright, bold patterns, um, colors, colors and patterns, right? On that designer series paper. Okay. Gingham Cottage. That's again what I used here and there. Okay. So let's talk about this one here. Okay. Okay, so this time we started with a thick basic white cardstock. As I always like to mention, all of the details, dimensions, product codes, colors, everything you need to order and recreate these projects will be on my blog this afternoon at gatheringinspiration.com. Okay, so our thick basic white cardstock, we had a full sheet right here, right? This was eight and a half by 11. Along the eight and a half inch side, we cut it at four and a quarter inches. And along the 11 inch side, we scored it at five and a half inches. So I don't have to use my bold folder and make that wonky fold that I just somehow can't manage to do. <laughs> so when the math is easy, you can do that. Okay, then designer series paper, uh, four by five and a quarter, the Gingham Cottage. And then one more that little strip right there that measures one and three eighths by four and a quarter, okay? And then I think I've just got some other pieces to do our stamping and die cutting with, okay? So, and then on the inside, yeah, we just stamped. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna grab our black memento ink and we're gonna ink up. This is one you can kind of pound on because it's, more of a linen ink pad. So we're gonna stamp that guy right down there. I'm trying to make sure I have room to use this label die right here from the Fabulous Frames dies. That's what we're gonna use over on this side. So yep, I did leave enough room there. Okay. We are gonna color. Let's also stamp. Let that sit just for a sec, okay. We're gonna stamp a couple of leaves in old olive. Oh, you know what? I did stamp it off first. Okay. Oh, well here, I need my little scrap paper so I can stamp it off. <laughs> okay, here we go. Stamp there. Doesn't that look better, right? It's like a little bit more um, grainy or something. There's something about that I like. Okay, so we got that. Now, let's see. Oh, on the inside of our card, we can also do our, what did I stamp inside here, right? Just the hello and that little flower right there. Okay, so we'll just get that over there. So here's our hello. And I've got it going the right way, right? So hopefully I do it about straight enough, right? And then I need the little flower that we used over on the other card. And I'm gonna just stamp that right there. Oh, look at how cute. I love that flower, so cute, right? Okay, I think that's all we need for that and that one. All right, let's do our coloring, actually. Yeah, 
Okay, so I am gonna put my glasses on. <laughs> That'll be my first step. I'm gonna bring my card back into view so I can see what I'm doing. I don't think I need that anymore, right? Things out of the way. Okay, so let's start with our old olive. Okay, so we're gonna just color in the stem. This is our old olive blend. So I'm just gonna color that in, right? Then we are going to use our uh, pumpkin pie. And I'm gonna use my light one first. I use the dark over on my stem, right? But I'm just gonna color. Um, sometimes this happens. Don't press too hard. Um, I can tell this got used at class probably because I don't think I do these things to my blends. <laughs> if you press hard, it almost kind of makes the tip, I don't know, it almost like makes it flappy or a little bit broken or something. So then it's a little bit harder to be precise, but I think I did okay there because I have my glasses on too. And then we're just gonna kind of color this all in. Yeah, okay. So yeah, just don't press too hard. I think that's kind of a good key, right? If you press too hard, you kind of end up having a little bit of a problem there. And then we are gonna go back, I'm trying to decide, I'm gonna use my fat tip actually, and I'm just gonna kinda shade in where those lines are, right? You could use the skinnier tip, but I think it looks all right with this one. And then go back, this is what's fun about the blends, and then you're gonna kinda blend those dark and light. Okay, I'm just gonna kinda circular go over all of those, and it's interesting how um, much darker it looks at first, don't you guys think? That one looked like that, and then it kind of dries and, and um, fades, so like I said, you could almost go back and color that in a little bit more if you wanted to, but you don't have to, right? Kind of like the different tones there, okay? So I think we're good there. I think we are ready to do our die cutting again. Let's scoot those back out of the way. Okay. Put that up there. And actually, I'm going to get that ink out of the way, too. Okay. Oops, we're going to... I need the handle facing me. <laughs> okay. All right, so we've got this. We're going to do those, two. Just trim those off, right? So we're going to have to run the leaves through two times. Um, where is my, there is my pumpkin die. Okay, so this die comes right out of the Rustic Harvest. We can use this one right here, and then we need a little leaf from the Rustic Harvest. So the only thing, we literally used all of the dies except this one that cuts out those flowers right there. That's the only die we didn't use in those Rustic Pumpkin dies. So that gives you a good idea of all the fun that you can have with that set of dies too. Okay, so we're gonna do one leaf and then we've gotta do our little vines too. So we'll do one more run through our die cutting machine. I have to show you guys this label though. The pumpkin is beautiful, isn't it, Philomena? I know, just those really pretty soft tones. Okay, that moved a little bit, but I think it's gonna be okay. But check this out. Can you guys see the little scroll work and this is kind of fun it actually is two different pieces okay so if you wanted to just frame you could i did add that back in so that'll go just like that on our card and then we've got a leaf so there's one leaf our pumpkin that's yeah seen better days but i'll trim that up that'll be okay and then okay so we're going to get one more leaf we need to die cut and then we need a couple of little scrolls over in this other one. Okay, so we're gonna get just a little bit of old olive and a couple of our little viney scrolly things. Love those two. Okay. Oops, there we go. Oh. <laughs> so you can't fight the magnetic field. We talk about this all the time at class. If those dies are kind of winging off of where you're putting them, you have to move the paper. You, you're not going to be able to make it stay. So just know that. Just move your paper until it doesn't, until the die doesn't move on you anymore. <laughs> it's just the way it is. OK, 
Okay, and then those little scrollies, they're so cute, the little squiggly things, right? And they pop right out too, which is very handy. Okay, so with that one, there's one there and one right there. They're so cute, huh? Okay. Again, we need our little silicone mat. We're gonna put those right on there so I don't lose them too. It's a good thing, right? Okay, let me grab, I'm gonna grab this. We're gonna just fix this up a little bit. I'm gonna just grab my snips. We're gonna cut right along here. This happens sometimes. We could color and cut another one, but we're gonna just do this today. Okay, just kind of nice and easy. Fussy cut that, and there, there we go. Good as new. Okay, we are ready to put our card together. Okay, so we've got our card base, right? We're gonna add, let's move these over here too, our designer series paper. So check that out, right? That Gingham Cottage fun, like patterns, bright, bold patterns, right? So we've got that one there. We're gonna add our designer series paper, just this little strip right through the middle, maybe right about there, okay? Next, we are going to, and this was kind of um, a good way to do this, I thought, to hold everything in place. Well, how did I do that? Now I'm gonna think about this. Um, I actually am gonna put, let's do it on this mat. Because again, I did this a couple days ago, ladies, and you know, <laughs> The brain cells, a little bit fried since then. Okay, we're gonna do that one there. Try not to go too far over the edge, like on the sides, because that frame is so skinny there, right? Let's turn this one, this will be easier for me to work this way. Okay, I'm gonna go just a little bit right there. Okay, now I'm gonna flip this over, and then I'm gonna add this thing on the top and the sides and the bottom. And that's gonna kinda help hold it all together. Flip it back over. There, now we're good to go, okay? Peel off. You guys, the sun is coming out. It's turning into a beautiful day here in Michigan. Hopefully it's gorgeous summer weather for you guys as well. Okay, so adding that. Next we're gonna put some dimensionals. And you guys see how much that color bleeds through. So make sure whenever you're coloring with your blends, you always have something on your table because you don't want to ruin your table, right? Okay, and you're not even going to notice if that's not perfect up there because we're going to kind of cover up a lot of that with our leaves and our vines. Okay, so we're going to like to kind of give those a little dimension, curl them up a little bit, right? So there's that one, curling that one up. We're going to put that one right there and then we've got our little scrolly bits. Okay. Let me get that one little guy, there we go. All right, so we're gonna just add, maybe I only did one. Yeah, we're gonna get to put one on the inside of there too, maybe. Mm-hmm, or I save it for another card. There we go, I just put that little there. We'll save that one for later. It's sticking because I have a little bit of adhesive on my finger, but this craft sheet works so well. You don't get uh, sticky all over everything else. Okay, we're gonna add some of our Simply Elegant trim to our pumpkin. Okay, we're just gonna tie a bow. Comes in silver and gold. This is great for gift tags. Awesome, easy to work with. You can make little bows. You can you know, use this as like the string on your gift tag. Okay, we are out of glue dots, I forgot to bring those over. Oops, so let's scoot that out of the way. We are gonna just add a little bit of adhesive right there, and we're gonna add our bows. Isn't that, it just kind of added like a little pizzazz to the project, I think, just that little bit of silver. And then here, these are those festive pearls that are our free embellishment this month. I think these are on back order too, so hopefully I have enough if you order through me and want the embellishment. I hope I have enough to give everyone this month. If not, I will either, we'll either pick something new or if you don't mind waiting until they come back in, we can do that too. Oops, where is that? There we go. And then that one right there. 
There we go, ladies. So project number two with that Hello Harvest stamp set and dies, right? Beautiful. I love those cards, right? Thinking about fall just that little bit. I forgot to show you guys my host code, but I'll we'll talk about that right now, right? So if you order through me using the PG9H2M74 host code, you're gonna get one of each of these projects that I demonstrated today on Facebook Live. If you bump your order up to $50, you get that free celebration item, and you also receive either the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial with, with the tutorial on how to make that cute little uh, post-it note holder, or those festive pearls that we used right there, like on that project, okay? Thank you guys so very much for hanging out with me today. I hope you enjoyed these cards. If you're interested though in getting this stamp set and dies, order it ASAP, because I know it's on low inventory. And then once it goes, you know, once it's off a of low inventory, it means you can't order it for a while. So, and if you want to, you know, make your cute fall projects, get it now while you can, okay? Uh, so thanks so much for joining me today, guys. I was um, happy to be hanging out with you and we'll see you next time on Facebook Live. Bye everybody, thank you.